employers. About 200,000 plus service members get out every year. How can we translate their skill sets into corporate America? We owe it to them. The corporate fellowship program kind of alleviates that whole process for these candidates as they're coming into a corporate America environment. For corporate America, it was an opportunity to witness veteran talent uh, within the organization and see what they had to offer. Uh, at no cost to them, a fully funded program. And for three months, the fellows would be there doing work and projects and tasks that were commensurate with their education and experience level. HOH's role in the Corporate Fellowship Program is, is we're the executors. So all across the country at the different bases, uh, we have our project manager uh, that's actually on the base themselves. And they work very, very closely with the base leadership to recruit, interview, screen uh, the service members that are going to be eligible for the fellowship. And then once the fellowship actually begins, they're the ones that facilitate the weekly meetings uh, with guest speakers, the educational component, and sort of help coach, teach, and mentor, and hold the hand of, for lack of a better term, uh, those service members that are, that are going through the program. They would start with about a week of immersion, so the first three days they would immerse. And then over the course of the next 10 to 11 weeks, they'd get a lot of transitioning touch where they'd learn a little bit about our resume structures and what we're looking for in targeted resume. We'd look at interviewing tips and tricks and techniques. They would also get a project from the actual team that they were working with, and they would do check-ins with their leadership progressively up to the uh, vice president level. Our corporate partners that have also seen what the potential talent of these individuals are, our educational partners who have come to the table to really provide the educational backbone um, to this transition, and then of course HOH and some of the other partners that have come to the table um, to really make this a program that can be launched nationally and be a benefit to not only the service member but also the companies hiring them. We've had several fellows come into the program and they get the opportunity to prove themselves three, four weeks into the program, really surprise everyone that they were even more talented than what we thought during the initial interview. Your coworkers are so excited to be a part of this program. Everyone that I've told is just in love with it. They think it's so neat and it's so different from anything that we've done before, but we've hired about either two-thirds or three-quarters of the fellows that have gone through the program. I think the program is changing the way military recruiting looks and the landscape of military recruiting. Uh, I think this is the future to how veterans transition and it closes that transition gap much more quickly. The American military is the best trained military in the world. It's the best trained candidate to pull out there. If we just give them a short opportunity for 12 weeks to showcase what they can do, they're going to blow their mind. When I looked at the attributes of this particular fellowship and that I would get a look at, a, at an employer for about three months and they would get a good look at me, I, I, I thought it was a great opportunity. As a former base commander myself, I said, you know, it's very important that they sort of take on this transition mission. You know, they've been tasked for it, they're required to support it all, and there's no greater program that really meets those needs and those requirements that you're tasked with. So I would say base commanders, just, you know, get out of the way. Uh, and let the magic happen between uh, your great service members and those companies.